Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where everything you're about to hear and see has been done in one take. I'm your host, the One Take Man. Today I find myself on the uh, Twitter page of Internet Hall of Fame. I, uh, as of the time of this video's recording, I made a uh, I made a tweet where I commented about all of the uh, uh, all of the uh, pages that were the you know Twitter accounts that were similar to Reddit pages that all of a sudden uh, showed up on Twitter. I very much knew uh, why that was the case. Uh, hashtag fuck Spetsy. And I thought, you know what, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can, uh, uh, you know, do a reaction video about it. It's not the first time I've done reactions on similar, con on similar content. In fact, it would be the, it would be the third. And I don't know, I just thought, and it's not just, it's not just because I had nof nothing else to do, even though it, <laughs> even though it's, that's kind of the case. Or rather, it, it's not that I didn't have any other idea for a video. It's more like I had a whole bunch of ideas for videos, so I thought I would just go for uh, this first more low effort uh, option first. <clears throat> oh look, this, this uh, person even has an Instagram website. Anyway, before I delve into this, I do have to issue. I do have to say that. Uh, I am not in any way responsible for any of the uh, content that uh, uh, that shows up here, so uh, so so I have no way of uh, knowing or figuring out what uh, what will show up. So, suffice to say that if you have something that is uh, if you have some some kind of trigger or there is some kind of content that uh, you that you would want to be uh, warned uh, warned about before you get into a video. Consider yourself warned. Whatever might happen now might be something that whatever I will I might uh, you know uh, find on this uh, on this page might be something that will uh, they they will trigger you. So keep that in mind and uh, let us proceed. Or no, I'm I'm not I'm gonna delay proceeding just for a while because I'm pretty sure people wonder. If there are many others, why did I choose Internet Hall of Fame specifically? Well, because Internet Hall of Fame actually kind of uh, precedes a lot of them, and therefore has a, a huge database. Uh, first of all, and second of all, I think it's actually the uh, the best among them in terms of how it's uh, uh, how it's curated and what kind of content then there actually will be there. Like enough to like enough to get some you know. Uh, humor and fun, not just for me, but also, uh, but also for you. Links will link to uh, link to the page will be in the uh, description down below. Anyway, that's really way more preamble than I really could should have uh, than, than I than I might have really been necessary. So let's get into it. Starting with the pinned comment uh, from Ask Reddit. Funnily enough. What stopped you from uh, committing seppuku? <laughs> I called the emergency hotline and no one picked up. I thought it was so ironic and hilarious that it made me laugh and laugh and temporarily not think of seppuku. <laughs> okay, that's for that's one for the people with a dark sense of humor. Let's see. Uh, male privilege is wearing the same outfit multiple times to events, while girls can't wear the same dress twice, no matter how cute it is says this woman. Then this guy says, there isn't a single straight man on earth that cares if you wear the same cute dress twice. The negative comments will come from other women. Um, yeah, that's kind of true. I'll have to be perfectly honest. Uh, okay, so I'm an ad from Nintendo UK. No thanks, I don't care. Millennials are causing a baby bust. They aren't having enough kids to keep the US population at replacement level. Says Y Pulse. Almond replies, that's because rent is fifteen hundred dollars and jobs paying twelve dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, next up, water, sparkling water. Oh, someone really doesn't like sparkling water. Would rather die than drink it. Oh well, that's something. Why is this bread shaped like that? Like I don't know the the 
Giga Chad meme, like a Giga Chad hit. It's so stupid that we know who this is shaped like. I. I guess that's. I think. I think that's who. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, is this is this Homer Simpson? Where am I? Anyway, moving ahead. Yeah, who to follow? Don't really care. More ads. Okay, I got a question. When you're laying down, do you all ever just uh, put your hand up for no reason? No, just me. I sometimes put both up for <laughs> reasons. <laughs> but I, ne I never really do just uh, just the one. Then again, depending on which uh, the one is, it looks like it's the left. So, given the and given the you know given the award that goes uh, you know goes to the left, your your left hand arguably uh, you know arguably gets uh, more of the blood first. Hence why hence why you take the pulse from uh, from right here from your left hand. So maybe you may, maybe you're just maybe you're just on the verge of passing out and you want to improve the blood flow to the rest of your body. That, you know that that could be a thing, so uh, cast Cassie two or at cast Cassie two. If you see this, then I don't know. Check yourself. Uh, next up from Asher Perlman. Just once, I want the opportunity to dramatically swipe everything off a table to make room for a giant map that I'll use to explain the plan. Yeah, you and me both, Asher. Next up from at Dazlin Reed. One of my fondest memories of community college was when I answered a question in a class with my laptop open and the professor was like, you didn't know that, you looked it up. But the guy sitting behind me yelled, no she didn't, she's looking at anime. <laughs> okay, that's that's funny, but at the same time I can't, I can't help but think, yeah, you, 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 you're, pretty, you're, pretty much, you're, you're pretty much fucked up either way, because either the professor says you looked it up, or you get exposed for not being, for not paying attention in class. Then again, if you wouldn't be paying attention in class, you wouldn't be able to uh, answer that question, so, yeah, <laughs> this pretty much, this will definitely leave the professor stumped, and it will make everyone else in class go, Ah, that was amazing. That was that was that was great. That was great. That was class. Okay, next up, Grandpa missed call. Then Grandpa messages coward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. Another ad. Fuck that shit. From Ed D. Lals. You all ever try to breathe quieter while walking up a hill so bystanders don't hear you fighting for your life? <laughs> Maybe you need to walk up. Uh, you know hills that aren't as steep, you know, ju just a suggestion. Or just walk on flat surfaces, That's that could work too. Okay, next up, a a at least initially, then you can work your way, then you can work your way to, you know, hills. And then, who knows, maybe someday you'll be able to even run up hills. Q running up, the <laughs> running up that hill, uh, anyway. Next up by Ed Safka Stanza. This girl next to me, <laughs> next to my, next to me, in class, offered me a sip of her drink because I mentioned that I was thirsty. I was not fucking expecting to take a sip of vodka cranberry at 9am, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to... Well, uh, welcome to university. Everyone is weird. Or community college, I could... You know, that's something. Okay, Internet Hall of Fame. Oh. The, yeah, this is a nice screenshot. High school. School name in my resume. City, it's also in my resume. State, well, uh, did you graduate? Yeah. College. School name, it's in my resume. City, why did you ask for a resume? <laughs> yeah. Degree, haha. Uh, still attending. Major, it actually says in the random resume you asked for. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a uh, that's a universal issue. Like a lot of people can a lot of people, uh, especially when they're looking for jobs, you know, complain about the, about have, having to upload a resume and then having to uh, input the same data that's already in the resume. I think that's I think that's their way of making sure that it, that that is actually a resume. But then again, if it isn't, you might just be able to you might just be able to memorize it uh, beforehand and fill it out. Or you could have it open in another window and then just copy it from there. So it's not really that it's not really that effective a that effective of a uh, fraud prevention measure as one would think. 
I will I will say one good thing about uh, job searching uh, here in Germany because I've done a great deal of that uh, myself. There are lots of uh, you know there are lots of uh, 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 companies where you, where where do you have these autofill forms? So you just uh, so you just input your uh, you just input your resume and then all the data just gets automatically filled in, and then you. And, and then you check with it to make sure it's all, you know, it's actually filled in correctly, filled in correctly. Because I've seen it filled filled out uh, incorrectly a whole bunch of times, and I also had to correct that. So it doesn't entirely eliminate menial labor, but it does. But it does help. A piece that defines a generation. APR final. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, that's. That's that's actually kind of, that's actually kind of interesting. Another ad skipping. Uh, win for Mans. When he was 14 years old, Rob Kenny's father abandoned him. After he became an adult, he launched a YouTube channel called Dad How Do I, that teaches kids to do things that a dad would normally teach them. He has more than 18 million views. Well, good for him, I guess. No, I don't know. 18 million sounds. I I, I don't know how many videos he has, but 18 million is kind of. Well, well, let's just say it's not PewDiePie numbers. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be polite and put it that way. 18 million, I think, is. Um, how many subscribers would that, uh, you, you know, would that be? Assuming, assuming also they they saw a lot, a uh, whole bunch of, a uh, whole bunch of his backlog as well. Uh, six digit, six digit margin. Actually, I take it that back. Six digits is amazing. It's way more than I have now, so yeah. Anyway, uh, good for him. Next up from Ad Metro UK. Uber will soon know if you're drunk and could refuse to pick you up. At, at, at which Act Mackenzie Denise replies, "That defeats the whole point of Uber." Uh, well, what can I say? Regular taxi companies need to be able to compete as well, so. I don't know how, okay, from uh, at the Meredith, my son just texted me this, I'm going to be sick. What time and place was I born? Send with Siri. Stay away from that girl. Stay, stay away from that comma girl? Or stay away, or should it be stay away from Siri? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't get this. Next up, for this this is one from Tumblr. Chicken Nuggets Galore says, "Do twins have the same size dick?" Hey, doesn't he rap? Replies, "Now we're asking the real questions." To which, Deja Coen Du, I assume that's how that's said, or Deja Coen Du, I don't know, says, "As a twin, I can say my dick is definitely bigger than my sister's." <laughs> is your sister trans? <laughs> that might be. <laughs> then it's uh, then it's kind of a. Uh, and it's kind of uh, ambiguous, you know. Another ad at Life of J ninety eight says, "These huge companies all started from a garage. What's your excuse?" At L Brand Brand replies, "I don't have a garage." <laughs> yeah, those guys also had massive seating capital. Let it not be. <laughs> let that not be ignored. It is the, because it definitely, you know, definitely contributed to them being <laughs> to making their owners into billionaires right now and and therefore like for example uh with amazon bezos started with three hundred thousand dollars as uh you know as a uh, as seed capital and with inflation that's easily in the seven digit figure maybe even eight and <laughs> all i can say is even if you started with a even if you started your business with thirty dollars uh, with thirty dollars as seed capital, you would not make like a uh, a percentage of a percentage of what uh, you know of what Bezos what Bezos makes, or of what Bezos' fortune is. So you're not gonna so you're not gonna be a you're, not only are you not gonna be a billionaire, you're not you're you might be lucky if you become a billionaire, but most likely you're just gonna be like I don't know middle class schmuck. Uh, next up. From at RDC World One, would you rather be trapped in a mall for 24 hours with Darth Maul or General Grievous? 
Ed Taylor probably replies, are they like mad at me or just at the mall too? <laughs> Why would they just be at the mall? Like, okay, it's in the, like it's in a uh, futuristic setting, so there might just be malls around them, but what business did they have just, you know, being in a mall? Also, they're, they're trapped, so... Yeah, I, I don't 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 ask why, but I don't think any of them do well with being, you know, with locked-in syndrome. So either way, either way, you're pretty screwed. Uh, for my money, I think I, I'm gonna go with Grievous, because seriously, there's no way you can fight any of these guys. So your your best option is to hide, and. Maul has Maul might have his senses be uh, enhanced by the force, so he might he might be more he's more readily uh, more easily capable of finding you. Whereas with Grievous, uh, Grievous is almost entirely cybernetic, so he doesn't really have that uh, force connection. He does have you know he does have some uh, he does have some no, some not, no, notable abilities strong enough to contend with uh, force users. But I'm not sure enhanced senses is, are you know are, are among those. So uh, my bet goes to Grievous. <laughs> Outside Mexico, inside Mex. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is a you know this is a. Do I need to explain this? It's a. It, it's a reference to how whenever something is filmed, uh, uh, in, uh, however, whenever a, the action in a in a movie in a Hollywood movie takes place in Mexico, they always put this like yellow filter uh, over it to signal to the audience that it is in uh, it is in Mexico so yeah there are there are better there are better uh, iterations of this joke if I may say so myself the American math team that beat the Chinese math team <laughs> yeah none of them are and okay plenty of them are American but none of them are you know of the dominant ethnicity within the United States Though that might change within a few decades. <clears throat> Another ad. Ed Mark Edley says, Please give me an example of something someone said to you that was so astonishingly stupid that you can never forget it. Oh uh, yeah, that's one of those look for the comments. Uh, it's a little bit of engagement bait. I'm not engaging with it. The Black Plague disappeared without a vaccine. Just saying. Ed, hashtag anti-vax. And then the reply, it killed one third of Europe so it it didn't disappear it uh, left its marks and also that was just that was just the most noticed uh, noticeable instance of uh, <clears throat> instance of black plague because various uh, you know various waves of black plague or of uh, or of the uh, plague in general and by that I do in fact mean the actual you know, you know that actual uh, plague so not any other plague, um, you know, bur uh, births of births of it occurred time and again in more, uh, you know, in more localized areas throughout centuries, really. And also, and even that, in, and even that initial, uh, even that initial uh, wave killed actually a little bit more than a, uh, a little bit more than a third. There are some estimates that go as high as fifty or ninety percent. Yeah. Anyway, moving ahead. Oh, yeah. This lady is sitting. This lady is sitting here on her couch. Sees the war continues. Oh, she's she's sad. She's tweeting something. Soldiers see it. Oh, please stop war. We'll stop war. Why are you stopping war? Well, see, she's sad. We should stop war. Okay, we'll stop war. <laughs> yeah. If only if only it were that easy. Anyway, moving ahead from. Uh, Top Fots God, at Top Fots God, also known as Iggy. It would be cool if after you died you could see the top five times you almost died. Not sure why you'd want to see that, especially if you're especially if you're anxious. But then again, it could be said that once you're anxious, it doesn't really matter because why would you, why would you be anxious over? You're already dead. But then again, even though the brain is uh, optimized for like logic and problem solving. There are some. There are some things where uh, there are there are some aspects of there are some aspects of it, or there are some complications of it, such as anxiety that don't really respond to logic. So this really, 
it really is not particularly intriguing uh, next up if I won the lottery the first thing I would take care of is my family me also me <clears throat> lottery winner wears scream costume to collect 1 million so relatives can't recognize him uh, <laughs> yeah well who knows maybe 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 this guy maybe this guy has issues with his family and doesn't want them doesn't want them mooching off him or simply doesn't want to be in touch with him because various reasons okay another ad this one for poker stars for those who are interested at Larson Matt 2 says after 16 years of marriage is uh, is uh, finding out that your spouse sucked 100 plus dicks uh, before getting hitched a big deal or is my wife just overreacting <laughs> Classic, classic misdirection, and also it touches upon a pretty sen pretty sensitive topic. So it, so it, you know, it does make the does make the joke go down a little bit smoother. <laughs> okay, next up, why don't Uber drivers book themselves? Then they get paid to go anywhere. Infinite money glitch. Who do you think pays Uber drivers, dumbass? <laughs> yeah. Anyways. You get, you know, you get rewards for being, you get rewards for looking good, not for being smart. But still, how would you not? Moving ahead. From Breath of the Wild 2, Hylian Boogaloo, uh, aka Ed Bugcatcher Will. Things strict parents think they're teaching you. How to behave. What they actually teach you. How to listen for footsteps. How to appear busy. How to manipulate someone into calming down. How to lie on the spot. I... We'll say, uh, no, I don't know what this will say about me and my family situation, but I can very much confirm all of these. <laughs> okay, moving ahead. Correct answer, la la la, your answer, and then that's incorrect. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, yep, yeah, my bad. I really struggle to see where the error is. Maybe there's a, you know, maybe there's a space too long and that space too much somewhere, and that's. And that's what makes this, uh, you know, th this program not recognize it, but whatever. Another ad and Mark GMTO from Facebook. Oh, it's Facebook. It's going to be one of those. Okay. I ain't smoking with Mexicans no more. I asked him if he had papers. Nick ran. <laughs> okay. That was, yeah, okay. That was cool. This was the most insane stage of the pandemic, and it's a <laughs> and it's a priest baptizing a baby with a you know with a water gun. Oh come on, that was funny. That was and I I have to say it was you know, you know it was more appropriate. You know, make light of a dire situation, help people, you know, help people through it. This you you might not like this, but this this is what peak Christianity looks like, okay? This is peak Christianity. <laughs> help people cope through tough times while also providing them with you know, the spiritual, uh, ritualistic counseling they need. Again, peak Christianity. Preserve this image in your mind. This is what it looks like. <laughs> okay, moving ahead. This poor fly got on the plane in Houston and will get off in London. His whole life is about to change, bruh. Yeah. On the one hand, true. On the other hand, I can't help but think that you're actually misgendering a fly. <laughs> like, it could be her, her whole life. Then again, do flies even have a concept of gender? And if they don't, should we just refer to all flies as they? I'm... Should we refer to all animals as they, in that case? Because I don't know, I don't think any animals have, you know, a, a concept of gender, or of, you know, gender presentation. Well, I can definitely say, f I can definitely say that if animals have those, then flies, flies definitely don't, because uh, I think a, a concept of gender or of gender presentation would require, you know, would, would require society. And, uh, and well, flies don't actually, don't, don't really have an, an idea of society, at least not that I am, not that I am aware of. You know, bees, bees do, so bees might have, uh, you know, bees might have gender, but flies don't. <laughs> so... Anyway, next up, not having a job and not having a job and having a job. Yeah, yeah, relatable. Uh, okay, let's see. For how long have I been filming? Hello. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do a few more. 
Okay, we'll uh, make it. I'll we'll make our way for, to the next ad and then stop. Ed Nick Trakana says, "So my mom told me the story about how my aunt and uncle ran into a celebrity at a bar and became friends with him, and she couldn't remember his name. My aunt just sent me these pictures, and it's Matthew McConaughey. Yay, Matthew McConaughey." <laughs> Okay, moving ahead from Et Becca and Brown. There is a really good looking guy in my accounting class and his Insta was on private, so I sent a follow request during class and he looked over at me and then denied the request. <laughs> oof. Nothing else I can say but oof. <laughs> Next up, Et Roxy Cutie says, In 8th grade I had a crush on, uh, on boy, on a boy, in my class. Or was it, or was it only one boy in the class, on the boy? <laughs> anyway, at some point I found out my family was moving and I was going to switch schools, so I wrote him a very long love letter. The day after I read it to him in front of my class, my parents decided I could keep going to the same school. Aww, <laughs> that's so cute. Wait, but if they're moving, are did you live on your own since in the eighth grade? Or did they just go on a, you know, excessively long commutes? Or did they, or did they pawn you off to like, I don't know, uh, a relative that we that was nearby? Or did they decide that you could, that, that you could live with that guy? Roxy, I have so many questions <laughs> right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, next one from, oh, it's from Facebook. Gay men make me puke. Don't deep throat so far then. <laughs> Okay, seriously, seriously, that, that's a, that's a, that's a good reply. Kind of a boomer reply, but it's a good reply. And next up is an ad, so I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right now. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop with this, uh, you know, little gay man joke right here. <laughs> and yeah, that was my, uh, that was my video. Thank you for your attention. And sorry if I stuttered or, um, you know, rambled on a little bit. Um, if you uh, enjoyed it, well then please like the video and maybe even share it wherever you think other people will also like the video. If there is anything you'd like to uh, add to my presentation, my explanations, or to uh, or you know to the uh, page itself, that's what the comment section is for. And if you want to see when my next video gets released, well then uh, please subscribe and ideally also ring the bell or do whatever else YouTube will ask of you in order to keep you notified. I also have a main channel where I talk about book-related and literature topics. A link to that will be available in the description down below, right past my social media links, which I also suggest you check out, should you choose to. Additionally, you can also support me on uh, Patreon, where you will also receive various perks, such as early access to uh, videos and scripts, both for this channel and my, uh, and my main one. <coughs> And yeah, that was about it. Until next time, I have been the One Take Man.